One of the most important things that is commonly overlooked when it comes to home gardening and landscaping is soil quality and health. Healthy soil means healthy plants, and it all starts with a simple soil test. Like any do-it-yourself project, there's a right way and a wrong way, and soil testing is no exception. So you're probably wondering, why test your soil? A soil test can provide information on the proper amount of lime and fertilizer to apply to your lawn, garden, and other areas of your landscape. When you apply the right amount of lime and fertilizer at the appropriate time, nutrient runoff into surface or groundwater is minimized, money is saved, and plant health is optimized. Soil testing can be used to diagnose common nutrient deficiencies for plants that are growing poorly. So how do we get started? You need a test kit and a few items that you probably already have around the house. The soil test kit includes a cardboard sample box and an information sheet. You can get your soil test kit from the Henrico County Extension Office or any county library. You will also need a clean bucket, a soil probe, or a trowel. There are a few things you need to consider before you start digging. Samples collected from your lawn, garden, and other areas in your landscape need to be collected and contained separately because plants grown in different areas may need different requirements. When it comes to your lawn, you want to take a variety of samples in different locations to give a true representation of your property. Avoid obvious areas of extreme differences in your lawn, like landscape borders, brush piles, severe erosion, and avoid pet droppings. These samples could alter your test results. So to take our sample, we want to insert our trowel into the soil about four to six inches deep, and then press it forward a little bit. Then we're gonna go back in and take a slice out of the back side of that hole, pull it up, take out any big pieces of grass or if there's rocks, also take that out and put it in our bucket. We don't need to worry about how much soil we're collecting from an individual hole. We're gonna take multiple samples and that will be more than enough soil for our test. After you take multiple samples of the area, you will need to mix them together before they are added to the soil sample box. Again, remove any sticks, roots, mulch, grass, and rocks, and make sure the soil is not too wet because it can damage the sample box. Remember, the accuracy of the soil test results depends on the quality of the sample you submit. After you finish your soil sampling, you need to clearly label the sample box. This is important because you don't want to mix up your soil samples. As I mentioned earlier, an information sheet is included in your test kit. On this sheet, put your contact information, a three-digit code for the plants to be grown, and any other pertinent information for the area that has been sampled. When you are finished, you need to send your test kit along with your payment to the Virginia Tech Soil Testing Lab. You should receive your results in the mail within two to three weeks. Email results can be sent if you include your address on the information form. That's it. If you have any questions, please contact us at the Virginia Cooperative Extension Office in Henrico County, or visit us on the second floor of the Human Services Building at 8600 Dixon Powers Drive.